power on. Looks like it's good to go. Let's see if uh, I can start this thing now. I'm actually impressed. That's a 2.4 liter uh, diesel engine. Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me on this episode of Henderson Equipment. Today I have a special collaboration video where I'm going to do the product review testing of this. The Anman Multifunction Jump Starter. Let's get into it. So for full disclosure, the manufacturer of this um, jump starter reached out to me. They were watching my YouTube channel and they said, hey, we would really like you to give an honest review on this product. We want you to do hard testing of it. We want to know if you like it, if you hate it, what are the pros, cons, etc. And uh, they gave it to the right guy because I'm going to beat the hell out of this thing and see if it's worth it. Um, what the company is willing to do, if it is something I am willing to recommend uh, to my viewers, uh, I will leave a link below to uh, where you can buy this. And um, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like, If this is something I think you should buy, I will tell you. If I think this is a hunk of junk, I'm going to let you know too. So uh, I encourage, I'm grateful that they reached out to me. I am going to be honest. Um, so... Let's see, uh, let's see how this thing works. So let me give you this nice little carrying case. Okay. So they give you a little cord that's probably to charge it. These are your battery cables where you'd connect to your battery. They're light. They're 8 gauge, so not the heaviest thing in the world. The connections... I mean they're soldered and crimped, so they're doubled. That's cool. Okay, and they have a positive loop on both sides, so that's good. Sometimes manufacturers deceive you and they put, you know, only connection on one side, but this one here they have it looped on both sides, so that's good. And you can see here they got a cable on the back side where it's looped. Okay. So this must plug into the jump starter, and this says here F19C jump cable LED working status description. The jumper cable must be connected to the jump starter first and then to the positive and negative of the poles of the car. Okay. Okay, so this is kind of cool. It gives you a blinking light. So you have indicators here. So blinking the jump cable connected to the jump starter is right and it's ready to connect to the battery. If it's straight bright, uh, so no flashing, uh, the connection is right, start the engine. If it's flashing, the connection timed out, please reconnect. Okay, so blink is a slow blink, flash is a fast. All right, and then if it's red, if it's a bright red, jump starter power is too low, please recharge, reverse polarity. Okay, that's kind of cool. So it has reverse polarity. So if you put this on the positive and this on the negative, it'll uh, it'll beep. So it's kind of idiot proof in that sense. So. That's good. I mean, I don't need that, but I mean, <clears throat> for people that, you know, don't know how to do anything, that is uh, advantageous. So, okay. I worry about this thing, but uh, let's see. It's fully wrapped. So, So at first glance, I mean, this thing looks fancy. Output. Okay. It's got a little weather seal, I guess. So you have five volt. Okay, you have two outputs. You have a 
three amp and a two amp output. Okay. And then you have your input. Okay, so that's your charging input here. And this is for your car. See how they got it labeled? So you take that, and I guess that it plugs into there. Okay. So then you have a light and power button. So power button, so coming from wherever this came from, it's 69% charged. How do you turn the light on? Oh, you push and hold. Okay, so light on. Ooh, look at that strobe. And then SOS, that makes sense. Okay, so push and hold. Turns the light on. One click, flash, one click, SOS, and another click off, okay. And then to power off, I guess it doesn't power off. Does it power off on its own? Maybe it does. All right, well, this thing's pretty simple. I mean, it's really not much to it. Um, let's see how the user manual is. Yes, they give you this like plexiglass cover, but looks like that's the only thing you need. Yeah, okay, so there's no other push and hold, you get the light button, and then you push for strobe and push for SOS and push for off. Okay. I mean I, I didn't even read this and you know I figured that out, so it's pretty intuitive. Safety instructions. Full vehicles only makes sense. Thank you for your support. Okay. Well, um, I mean, this thing is pretty basic. It's pretty simple. It's really not much to this. Uh, the only thing I'm not too sure of, and I should have looked at the instructions, but I assume once I pull, well, let's plug this in. What happens? And look, I got a flashing light. So I should say a blinking light. So the blinking light says the jumper cable is connected to the jump starter and is right. Okay. So I can tell you, like, I think this is a weak point here. I mean, this goes in snug, which is nice. Um, but if you have this connected and drop it, I wonder if this will break. Might have to test that. So overall, I mean, I think this is a pretty simple design. There's not much to it. Um, it's very, like, compact, you know, so you could probably fit this in the glove box uh, of your car. So that's, that's handy. Um, but in any case, uh, I'm at 69%. I'm going to charge this thing up. We'll see how long it takes to charge. And then um, I'm going to see if it can start some of my equipment. I have a lot of equipment laying around that the batteries are dead in. So I got this jump starter at the perfect time. And uh, we will really put it to the test. Would you guys believe that my trusty three-wheeler is dead? It says I got juice. Hear that? Sounds like a weak fart. I got nothing. Let's hook up the Anman here. Negative, positive. Power on. She's clicking. Oh, hell yeah. Well, it definitely started the three-wheeler, no problem. Well, I got a dead quad here. I mean, I got nothing. Let me make sure it's not in gear. Yeah, it's not in gear. I get no light. Nothing. Let's hook up ye old Anman. Power on. She's clicking. Look, we got juice. Let me, uh... Oh, she turned over hard. Well, that's good. Barely used any juice. OK, 
Okay, that's good. Well, that's uh, it's plenty good enough to turn over a quad. That's good news. So this is a Husqvarna riding tractor that I picked up, and uh, I really did not pay much for this. I was told it runs, um, but it's been sitting for a while. So I think this is going to be the perfect little test for the Anmin, and uh, see what happens. And see what my initial readings are, so you guys can see. And negative and positive. Four volts, so I got 4.01 volts. Nice. So with the Anmin plugged in, I'm getting 15.2 volts. What's my charge at? I'll see. I'm surprised it's holding it. <laughs> Tell you what though, I'm really impressed because I'm cranking this thing over a lot. So after this motor's been cranking over for a while, I'm down to 70%, um, which may sound low, uh, but I actually am impressed with that because remember this battery had only four volts, um, it brought it up to 15 volts, uh, so it really gave it a good, uh, you know, kick. And I was cranking this mower over a lot, like, for a, for a little bit. Um, something that should have started a mower, so for this engine and mower to be sitting with, the, you know, a dead battery, um, that's pretty good. So, um, and uh, let's go test some other equipment. So here we have a 2.4 liter Zuzu engine. Taking a look at the current situation here. Key on. That ain't gonna work. Let's see if uh, the boost pack will start this. Okay, we got the negative and the positive. Power on. Looks like it's good to go. Let's see if uh, I can start this thing now. Well, we got down. I'm, I'm actually impressed. That's a 2.4 liter uh, diesel engine and it fired right the f up. Wow. Yeah, so I got to dig a hole for the neighbor, and uh, sure enough, the backhoe won't start. It's been sitting for a little bit. Let's put uh, the jump pack on this thing. Well, actually, you know what? Let me try to start this thing so you can hear the battery's dead. Lights. Just. Uh, just don't got it. So let's see if the boost pack has enough ass to start her. And the battery I have in this thing, it was used. Um, it's old. I don't know what a date it says. 2017. So it's getting up there. Makes sense of the batteries going dead. All right, lights flashing. Says we're good. Positive. And negative. Power one. And it's clicking. Let's see if it'll start. You know, pushing a diesel engine to turn over is a lot of power, so I'm surprised this thing had it. Didn't really use that much juice either, so that's cool. So 
So I want to do a little torture test on this thing, and it's raining out. Just drizzling right now, but it's been on and off. And Anman says, the instructions say do not leave this outside, don't expose it to, you know, rainy weather, etc. But the reality is, is you're going to be outside uh, in rainy weather, and you're going to need to do a boost. So I'm going to leave this outside in the rain for a few hours in this puddle. And as it rains, the puddle fill up. And we'll see if it still works after that, so. You know, it's been a few hours, I forgot about this thing. Let's see if it still works. We had a couple points when it were, where it was raining pretty hard. Let's see if it still works. Plug the cell phone in. And let's hit the power button. It is still charging. Look, I got my charge symbol. So it is still working even if it even though it's been outside and gotten rained on. That's good. That's a good test. Well, I'm gonna leave it outside overnight and we'll see if it still works in the morning. So I left this thing outside overnight with the connections open and I mean I got shit dirt debris on this thing so let's see if it works let me hit the power button 73 percent let's plug this in and for the record they do not want you doing this so it's Sunday next day and it is charging it's charging so I think this is a good test now they say don't leave this outside um, try to bring it in when you're done using it and that makes perfect sense but mistakes happen people are gonna leave things outside and people are gonna forget things so I think leaving this outside and doing a little hard rain test on it um, is good because accidents happen and I would expect and want this thing to at least take a little bit of moisture and it did so that's good so I'm on my way back home from work and uh, I've been use I've been using this Anmin to like charge my phone um, in the morning and on my way home and it charges my phone really quick so that's uh, that's a positive thing uh, but the reason why I'm talking in the car is because I was thinking of a story and I used to have one of these jump packs and what um, what had happened my own fault is I left the jump pack on my truck on the flatbed of my truck and I was driving and I it slipped off and I heard a bang on the ground I looked back and sure enough my jump pack was uh, on the ground and it was no longer working so I figured you know I really need to do a durability test of this thing sure the water test is good but uh, I really need to do a good impact test to see if this product is gonna last so I'm gonna get real close to home there's a good one-way street um, where I am literally going to take the Anman and uh, throw it out my window and then see if it uh, see if it still works. Alright, I am at this little uh, back road I have by my house. Um, they just paved it. It looks nice. So I'm going to turn this thing on. I'm going to turn the light on. There it is. And uh, quite frankly, I'm just going to be driving, not crazy fast. And I'm just gonna throw this out the window. Well, I broke a piece off. Light's still on though. It's charging. It's charging the phone. I'm going to say that passed the impact test. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's do one more test. Definitely opened it up. Crunched it. It's still charging. 
I'll be damned. So I just got back home assessing the damage of the Inman. I mean, I threw it out the window of the truck, ran it over. You know, I really f***ed this thing up. Let's see if it'll turn over this lawnmower. It's the same battery that only had, uh, you know, like four volts on it. It's clicking. Let's see if it'll actually start. Holy shit. That's impressive. That's really impressive. So I guess the controller in here still has this sensing function where even though, you know, this is all screwed up, the buttons are broken, the sensing function says, hey, the battery's low. We need to try to start this thing. That is pretty cool. I'm uh, very pleasantly surprised. Very pleasantly surprised. One weak point I do see in this thing is the connection part of the jumper cables to the Enmin connection pack. Um, I do feel that when I connect this in here, I am susceptible to like breaking this thing off. Um, I will say though, I didn't break it off. I mean, I tested this thing and used it a bit and I didn't break it off. So maybe it's not a factor, but it just felt like it would have been. Um, but at the end of the day, would I recommend this admin for uh, as a jump starter pack? Yes, I, I really would. I absolutely would. Um, once again, I'm not making any money um, from the manufacturer or on any sales of this piece of equipment. They wanted me to give you my honest review. And if it's worthwhile to you guys uh, to buy this thing, they wanted my endorsement. And I'm going to give it my endorsement. Um, I looked online on Amazon. This is uh, very affordable on Amazon. I mean, it is very affordable. Um, anybody who uh, likes this video and is interested in buying this, um, they are giving all of my subscribers and all of my all of my viewers a special 20% discount on this product. So if you decide to go on, um, go into the description of this video below, you'll see a link. And if you click on that Amazon link and go there, you will um, you'll be able to apply a 20% discount discount code to the code listed in the description and um, you guys can get it at a little cheaper price. So again, I thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Henderson Equipment. I appreciate the manufacturer for letting me uh, test their equipment and honestly letting me really abuse it. Uh, it's been fun. And to be honest with you, I'm gonna buy probably one or two of these. Um, that's the end of this video. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.